I have pneumonia on both lungs and I'm fighting for me and my baby. Karen Mannering spent a week in hospital in Margate being treated for COVID-19. The mother of three and almost seven months pregnant, she's now recovering at home. Her doctors say she shouldn't leave the house until she's had the baby. Good advice, as there is uncertainty over whether or not those who've recovered from the virus can catch it again. I feel no safer than anyone else. If anything, I still feel like a sitting duck because... If I get it again, especially this soon, I don't believe I could fight a second time. Do you know what I mean? Especially carrying the baby now, he's a lot bigger. It's been widely assumed that if you've had coronavirus, your body will develop immunity. But the World Health Organization now says that may not be true. There's been an expectation maybe that herd immunity may have been achieved and that the majority of people in society may already have developed antibodies. Uh, I think the, the general evidence is pointing against that. For those who've had the virus, the temptation to purchase an antibody or serological testing kit is high. Antibodies are little bits of Y-shaped protein that help fight infections. When we get one, our immune system produces them to help us get over it. Once produced, the antibody attaches itself to the antigene of the virus and destroys it, helping us defeat the infection. Once the virus has been destroyed, the antibodies stay in your system for a time. This is what the blood test looks for. But for new viruses like COVID-19, doctors simply don't know how long these antibodies will last or if they're powerful enough to guard us from future infection. We can use a lot of work of what we know about viruses like SARS in years gone by, whereby immunity peaked at two or, two or three months and lasted for around three to four years. But of course, this scientific knowledge will, will continue to grow. The government are advising people not to buy private tests until a reliable approved one can be found and mass produced. So for Karen, the uncertainty and the worry goes on. Literally, I do not leave the house, but when I do, I call it my little um, safety pack. So I have my face mask, my gloves, I have anti-back hand um, like wash. Then I have my dental spray for the bottom of my shoes. Like I'm actually over the top, probably more so than most people, because I've been there, I've done it, and I do not wish it upon anyone. The government too will be concerned, as antibody tests were seen as playing a key role in their lockdown exit strategy. Fraser Maud, Sky News.